around a little bit for this next one. Uh, earlier I told you guys we were having a competition who the creepiest person was. You made it. Uh, <laughs> give it up for the world-renowned and locally frightening Mr. Mike Orgo, everybody. I am the Reverend Mike Orgo. They get it about 50% of the time. So uh, I thought I'd throw out a little nice uh, a joke before I get to talking about some extremely fucked up shit. Um, let me ask you guys a question. How many heroin users does it take to change a light bulb? It doesn't matter, they can't afford it. They spend all their money on junk. Bang, bang, bang! <laughs> That's a fucking joke right there, right? Yeah. So anyway, pornography. Do we have any pornography fans in the audience tonight? Yes. I like you. You're just like, yes. Pornography. It's all right. I, I enjoy it every now and then. I hear you. I hear you. Well, um... I've, uh, I've been heavily involved with pornography for a lot of my life. I've worked uh, worked at porno shops. I've I've studied it in great detail, and uh, it's interesting today. Pornography is very accessible nowadays, folks. Uh, when I was a kid back in the 1980s, I had to become like a perverted Sherlock Holmes, like seeking out my dad's secret porno stash of VHS or oh my God, Beta Vision tapes. And uh, and even once I found them, that wasn't the end of it. You know, I, I had to fuck and plan and think this shit out and wait and be like, wait a minute, family's going to the movies on Sunday. If I fake a sore throat, I can get some alone time with the porn, yeah. But not nowadays, no, no, no. Nowadays, if you got yourself a laptop, you flip that fucker open, bit body, bit bop, you got yourself a beaver party going right there. And, uh... I mean, yes, yeah, so mainstream nowadays. I swear to God, you guys, this this is the absolute truth. I was watching uh, Everybody Loves Raymond on TV Land yesterday, and who the fuck was on the show but Jenna Jameson? Woo! Right on. Uh, you know, Raymond comes home from work. He's like, "Oh my God, Jenna Jameson is in my house." Why is she here? Robert, if if Deborah comes home and sees Jenna Jameson, I'm gonna be dead. And Robert's like, what do you want from me, Raymond? She's my new girlfriend. No, that's bullshit. I made that up. That show sucks. I don't even like it. But uh and we got so many different kind of genres nowadays, guys. So many different genres of porn. Uh tranny porn, granny porn, water sports, bukake, yeah, yeah. Uh, nobody clapped for Bukake. I'm shocked. Um, let's let's examine them a little bit. We'll go down the line here. The first one I mentioned was uh, tranny porn. Uh, not a big fan of it myself. Um, chicks with dicks, uh, dudes with boobs. They just want to have their cock and eat it too, folks. That's all I'm saying about the fucking she males. Um, the next one on the list was granny porn. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, water sports, right? Water sports. This one kind of mystifies me. People that like watching people get peed on or are or, or peeing on people. Um, I'll tell y'all a little story from my youth. When I was about 12 years old, uh, a buddy of mine was like up on a bridge above me and he just started whizzing on my fucking head. It did not turn me on. I did not get any sort of sexual pleasure from this. I don't know what it did for him, but, you know, he's he lives in San Francisco now, so I don't know. Um, Bukake. Yeah. Yeah, we had to get there. It makes me feel dirty even saying the words. The only thing I'll say about Bukake, guys, is this is porn for people that like to jerk off and throw up at the same time. That's how I feel about that. <laughs> just, that's a straight up, oh man. Hey, he told you I'm the creepiest motherfucker here. What did you expect? Um, and there's another kind that I find very interesting, a new, a new kind of uh, genre of porn out there that's called Cruelty Party. This I find very interesting. What happens in Cruelty Party is these mean, evil bitches, they get this one guy 
And they get him down on the ground and they tie him up. And then like three or four of them just fuck the shit out of him. I mean, one gets on his face and rubs her pussy all on his face. The other one's down on his dick just fucking him away. Somebody's down licking his toes. I mean, these cruel bitches. I dare you fucking bitches to try that shit on me. Seriously. Mike Orgo, I'm on Facebook. You want to try that shit on me, I'm okay with it. So uh, to end off here, I like to end with a song, guys, and um, a little something different, maybe. Uh, I like, uh, anybody like Gilligan's Island? Love it. Love Gilligan's. Right? Classic show. Um, another one of my favorites is Rob Zombie, the master. Um, and I, I like to think weird thoughts. I was wondering, what if Rob Zombie did the theme song from Gilligan's Island? Back there. Yeah, just sit right back and you hear the tale, the tale of a faithful trip. Hey, that started from this tropic board up on this tiny ship. Yeah, our first mate was a mighty sailing man, the skipper of brave and sure. Five passengers set sail that day for a three hour tour. A three hour tour. A three hour tour. Yeah! I'm the Reverend Mike Orgo. Thanks a lot, you guys. Hello, <laughs> monkeys. You had me at Beaver Party. <laughs> that was weird, wasn't it? God, I told you, right? This fucker's creepy. Thanks, man. No one walked in their car alone. Unless you're a 20 year old female, he never gets next to those. <laughs> you're next to me.